Hello, my collective. How are you all doing? Swell and good and wonderful, I hope. I love y'all, and I appreciate each and every one of you all. Um, my loyal su support, I love y'all. And I thank you, and I thank you for your comments, and I, I and I appreciate your likes, and every time you do that, I appreciate it. If you do it right now, I love you, and I appreciate it. And uh, cause I'll give you, I'll give you a good message, I think. Uh, and you new people here, I hope I can give you something so you'll come back and view my channel again, cause I like trying to help people, and I appreciate all the people. That, help that your uh, others has been giving me i love you all and when i get to 500 i'm giving a deck away so help me get there you guys i just got a few more to get to 500 i need that help and i appreciate you um this is about star seeds okay this is about you know remembering yourself you know your memories uh this is about your identity um uh, uh your look, see how that girl's got that. Uh, what is them boxes are called? Remember, a Rubik's cube. It's like you're fitting the pieces together of your memories. They're coming back to you in waves. Maybe every time an orb you see it, uh, you're getting a, a download, and then you'll remember it. <laughs> but they is a uh, someone is in denial and projecting shame at the moment. Uh, it's, uh, they're wanting to stalk you and intimidate you and, and, and confront you. It's these tall whites. They're uncertain about you, uh, Starseed. They have no trust. They have no trust. That's why they always have their guard up. And, uh, these people, um, They they just they they don't trust you know what I'm saying and they've got these people that don't trust you they got people fucking stalking you at them in the shadows see the shadow that's what that's saying these tall whites are stalking you they're trying to intimidate you in the shadow of of the night that's what I think it's saying because it says star I think they're trying to do it in the night uh, and now listen because this has already come out. The other day, at, they was going to come and jump out and scare you. Remember that little jack-in-the-box thing? And I said, do y'all like my Halloween cards? Two, four, four, remember? Yeah. And I said, somebody is going to, somebody young, they, they might just be like a year, a year younger than you if they're that much. But they're wanting to jump out and scare you. Um. Anyways, uh, you, uh, Divine Masculine wants to move you in with him and only be his woman and not be with these shitty men who treats you like pure shit. You're all very magnetically connected. 313, and every time, um, uh, maybe you all noticed when you go out to town that you're all magnetically drawn to each other, like you'll you'll uh, think of them, and then you'll just so happen to run into them. Well, that's that's uh, that's how that down game goes. <laughs> uh, but you know, uh, I'm telling y'all, just focus on being a better human and and learn how to show up in the world as a healed individual, and don't get mad. And don't get out of character. When somebody tries to do you like that, they win. That's why you got to calm down. Calm down and approach the situation with a calmer demeanor. All right? Uh, I would suggest a spiritual background to help you to heal. And I guess that's what you're all doing since you're coming here. And I love y'all and I thank you. And maybe you, uh, your whole family has disowned you, and maybe it was for your own good. This happens a lot to star seeds because we're different, and um, a lot of us are uh, actually tall white be people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's who we come from. I know that. Yeah, because I told you I had a dream about aliens one night. That was that one that looked scary, like it sucked something to my head. I just seen it 404 i just seen it all of a sudden one night in my in my dream and that's all i can remember is it just sitting there staring at me and then that's all i remember oh but uh your family um 
they're seeing that you're confident and alive and they're fighting just to survive now. <laughs> Whoever it's reading for. <clears throat> and uh, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. And what you give is what you're going to receive. So, so what you give to these people, that's what you're going to, you know, you, you, you get what you give. You give what you get. Uh, and whatever these people are doing to you, that what that saying is, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. If you did this to me, I do this to you. You understand? So if they're distrusted and guarded of you, this is going to happen back to them. This is what karma is. So if they've got the law stalking you or the government, whoever these people are right here, this is men in black, you know, five, 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 this is government, you know, people too, I think, you know, they pay people for you shit. Uh, whatever they doing to you, it's going to come back to them and their family. They don't understand that, but yet, you know, I understand that. And, uh, it says, um, you're somebody that chooses to live in a light energy. You you got a it kind of light that you you're like a down mighty warrior lion, and when you get tired of people, you let them know it. That's what kind of light that you you let these some bitches know you are tired of them. Maybe you let a person know you are tired of them that you you live with. But uh, somebody wants you to accept their offer of love. They're going to bring you some pretty flowers and some balloons with hearts. Oh, they might. They might. Oh, and, and they're wanting to ask more questions about you and their love. Oh, well, wouldn't that be nice? But somebody wants to do some uh, sex magic sitting by the fire, warm and toasty. All that means is they're wanting to work their sexual healing magic on you. That, you know, I wrote this card, like, for something, you know, like, you know, sex magic. But 717, that's a good twin flame number. But all that it's saying is, they're wanting to sit by the fire where it's warm and toasty. Where it's warm and toasty. And, ooh, get a little sexual magic healing. And you all just sit there and have the best fucking sex of your life. And Divine Madison's going to make you orgasm, like, I don't know. 12 fucking times, you're just going to be sitting there spraying all over in Divine Feminine. Why'd you do that, Divine Feminine? Oh, <laughs> Ooh, God, he said, I'm going to move you in my fucking house. Ooh, he got a nice big house for you. And it said, if you've lived with a person for many years, you get to learn their patterns and their fears. And in the bedroom, you'll orgasm a plenty. And throughout the fighting and conflict, you've learned uh, many lessons because you figured out how to count your blessings. Oh, I love that spirit. And it's your world. Oh, God, it's your world. Did you hear that? Ooh. And maybe you've lived with this person. And since I just said that, I done told you. Uh, Divine Master knows how to fucking make a, make a woman get off. <laughs> Eight, two, nine. And love all of yourself. Because your love is like a chocolate donut. Once you have a bite of it, you just can't stop eating it until they ain't none left. That's why I made you hear that. Oh, ain't it true? Love all yourself. It's your world. Love all yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me finish this. And uh, they can't break true pure love. Oh, God. True pure love and that much getting off. No, nobody can break that. And if I had a star for every time that you brighten my day, baby, I'd have a whole down galaxy on my hands. Oh, God. They can't break its pure love. Oh, God. It's from above and they can't do it. And and this person that wants to overtake your energy, they can't succeed because God was the one that chose you from birth to do this. They can't take your good energy and how you say things. And God protects and fights your battles. Oh, wow. That's what the universe does. They fight your battles for you. You know that, right? And these thieves all around and this arrogant ice hole little dickhead right here. He's a thief. And uh, we're saying, hey, why are y'all in a race with me? I'm waiting patiently in the plan for the divine so I will get blessed in God's time and then down and out in and in the dumps. These thieves, son of a bitches. These little arrogant dickheads. Are you listening? 
And, and uh, right under your nose, why would you try to make me go homeless? God's going to get you. Right on your nose, somebody's trying to make you go homeless. And uh, it's these people that's afraid that their secrets is coming out of all the bad shit they've done to you. Oh, and it done got blasted out a long time ago. Ten, ten. Oh, wow. We're going to receive a lot of blessings. Oh, and it's coming. That's divine timing. Did they know that? And losing things left and right. <laughs> They're scared. <coughs> They're scared because they've been watching your channel. My channel. My enemies. Your all's enemies. They're watching you. They're scared that you're going to start a channel if you ain't and blast out everything they did to you and they're going to lose everything. Oh, wow. And, oh, uh, deceased grandma, somebody's deceased grandma is saying uh, somebody's getting ready to die out here now. And remember to not feel guilty because you can't stop what the divine had already planned from the beginning of time. You know, you know, because death, it's already planned out. Uh, the you know, it's it's written when we come into this world. You know that, right? And it's written when we go out of this world. That was just the plan. It was all it was already written like that. And people that don't believe in them plans, like I don't, well, I don't know, I don't know because I don't get to them people because it's it's fucking proof. It. It's it's that's how it is. I mean, look, don't we all have a fucking birth certificate? We all have a death certificate. And I'll tell you something real fucked up. You want to hear the fucked up thing? My stepson that passed away, uh, it's sad that I got his death certificate before his fucking birth certificate because he, he was trying to get his license. He was 17, and I received his fucking death certificate before I received his uh, birth certificate in the mail. Are you listening? Because his mommy didn't give me none of that. See, I was his stepmom, and he couldn't live with me and his daddy. And, uh, yeah, we didn't have any of that, so I had to, uh, uh, I had to get that. It's, it's messed up, and I remember getting his, um, his social security card, and it about killed me after he died. I remember getting it, and it come on my birthday. It come on my birthday. I don't know if, no, not on my birthday. I take it back. It come, because he died after my birthday. It come like, um. It seemed like probably like two days after he died or something. It was something crazy like that. Oh, and somebody wants to lure you outside and kill you. Did you hear that? 1233 on Wednesday. On Wednesday hump day, somebody is going to try to lure you outside to kill you. But deceased grandma said that on a Wednesday, that might be when somebody's going to die. And uh, when you're ascending, you have to clear up all your psychological issues inside of your brain to rise up. Boy, that's true. That's true. You can't, you can't go holding on to old shit, you know. And somebody needs to explain themselves better out here and their psychological issues inside their brain, you know. Somebody needs to explain themselves better. And I think I've explained myself pretty well. I mean, you know, I... I uh, my grandpa died on me at four, and when I was 10, I started getting sexually touched, and that happened until I was like, you know, 15, 16, and me running away and all that, and then time I was 18, about 18 and a half, I got raped, uh, you know, and then, uh, I got to, uh, it, it, I, 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 that's all I'm gonna say, I've, I've, I've had to endure a lot of shit like that, and, and you can't hang on to that, you know, you gotta forgive, forgive, and you let it out and forgive, you know, and if you, if you did your partner wrong in a marriage or something, you gotta, for, you gotta let it out, you gotta voice it, and in that way, you're built on stable foundation, if, if somebody lied and they didn't tell you the truth, your own, your your foundation is not solid, you know, and, and I don't believe that. And I told all my shit. My old man fucking knows it. Why y'all think I'm on here blasting and telling? I because I fucking already told him. I'm not worried about anything. So I mean, whoever did, if somebody lied like that to you all or to me, they'll be the ones paying, not me. I ain't worried about it. And yes, yes, if you had a question, it's yes. Uh, the angels are going to make it to where you're not going to have to worry about one damn thing when it comes to your finances. Yes, the angels is taking care of me. I know they are. Yes, and you. And yes, somebody's getting ready to have money because somebody's dying. And uh, <clears throat> you, you're on. You might be on her. Uh, 
you might be on their policy. You're going to gain uh, some insurance money. Okay? But somebody out here might have been secretly poisoning someone because they was wanting to collect the insurance money. Somebody might have been poisoning somebody out here secretly. That's fucked up. That is fucked up. Okay? And um, that's something I'd never do. I would never fucking do that. I wouldn't do that to a fucking dog. I'm not a cruel. <laughs> I'm not a cruel person. I do not believe in things like that. And somebody's like that, I hope in a fucking hell that you, you get a tormented afterlife. I do. And whoever this informer for the law is, it's purely disrespectful of this person to neglect you and your feelings. You're tired and depleted of energy because you don't know if you can trust this person any or if they even really care. No, this person, uh, somebody at you, you, that you uh, are connected to, somebody in my collective, this disrespective uh, person that neglects your fucking feelings, they blab to the law. They blab to the law. And um, <laughs> what do you think about that? And you can forgive them, but you don't forget what you learned from that person. No, no, no. This person is a trisexual. 16, 16, 77. Ooh, spiritual. Ooh, spiritual blessings coming to us in enlightenment and spiritual strength and wealth and, oh, God. And whoever this is, they're a trisexual. They'll try anything once and they keep doing shit over and over and over again and they never learn their damn lessons. <laughs> Yeah, you can forgive this person, but you sure ain't going to forget all them fucking lessons that you you kept learning, learning over and over and over again. Huh? <laughs> so your uh, deceased grandma saying, uh, yeah, you're right. This person wanted to lure you outside and to kill you. And what's good for the goose is good for the gander. That's trying to kill you right under your fucking nose. They steves all around you right under your nose. They're trying to be in your world, and you're like a mighty warrior, and they, and you're going to let these people know that you, when you're fucking tired of them. Somebody wants to ask more questions uh, about uh, uh, having uh, sex with you, and they want to work their sexual magic on you, and they and they know uh, they can't break, nobody can break your all's true love because y'all got a spiritual background, and, and you love all yourself, and you're confident and alive, and... Uh, you know that God protects and fights your battles. And this informer for the law, they're going to have to explain themselves a little better to the law. That's why they're feeling down in the dumps and they're losing things left and right because they lied to the law. Yeah, you'll forgive them, but you don't forget what you learned from these lying cockers. And yes, yes, whatever your question was, yes, yes, divine life is going to love you, baby. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, you got to clean up your mind and let your secrets out. And we ain't in a race with nobody. We wait on the divine. And Wednesday, somebody's going to, might die. And they might be dying from poisoning. Somebody might have poisoned them. And um, it could be somebody in, in your, in, in a family that's poisoning this person, you know. And... And Spirit said, what you give is what you're going to get, arrogant asshole. Focus on becoming a better person in life and learn to be positive and not negative. Choose positive, not negative. Choose love, okay? And they'll try anything once. And uh, Divine Masculine, you're all magnetically connected. He wants you to live with him. He loves you and your light energy and he wants to for you to accept his offer of love and he wants to be sitting by the fire warm and toasty with you because you're like a damn donut he can't get enough of you now baby and he knows god chose you from birth you and he on to do this together and he says why would y'all try to make this beautiful woman go home as you dumb son of a bitches and uh, Divine Master is going to take you in a bedroom and you're going to orgasm so many times you lose a count. Oh, God. And it's going to be pew, 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 shooting around like that. And it says, uh, 
if he had a star for every time that you brightened his day, he'd have a whole fucking galaxy, and, and he and he knows your all finances is coming to you, because you you know how to alchemize, and you all manifesting it. Ooh, that's what it said. Ooh, that's what it said there, babies. You all manifesting it. <laughs> all right, uh, I know. Let me see what this does. Spirit, what do you want to tell us today, Spirit? Spirit, what is it? Okie dokie. Oh, God. Do all these obstacles and challenges. It helped to ignite your passion. It's a burning deep inside. That's like the Ace of Wands, you know. It, uh, you had to go in solitude and uh, figure out. <coughs> you had to go in sol solitude to get this passion ignited and to get out of them fucking obstacles and challenges. That's how it brought about this new beginning. There's people envious and, 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 de and deceptive around you, and you had to move away from these people. That was a decision of yours. You had a choice to make, and you moved away from bullshit. And Spirit says, uh, all in people that kept putting more challenges, now they're discontent and bored, and they, they're they learning from you about North Nodes, and they're trying to step out of their comfort zone, and... And you're you're solid uh, during all this solitude. You you you're solid in your foundation, and you're achieving many things in this new beginning. And oh, and your new start is coming. Look, a new beginning, a new start during this new moon. <laughs> during this new moon, okay. Uh, <clears throat> and it says, oh gosh, these people that's uh, envy and jealous of you. You're going to triumph over them. You're going to be the winner. Uh, because you made a choice to keep on moving ahead. That was your decision. And the universe is blessing you. And you're getting many messages from the divine. And you completed out these cycles with these people. And these per, uh, these people of all that kept sending obstacles, they're just bored. And their body is just feeling disruption at the moment. And... Uh, you're telling these people step out of your comfort zone to get your passion ignited and learn to be balanced and stand your ground and you stood your ground in your family foundation and during this solitude it made a new beginning and and this new this new start is coming that is your love your new this new moon your somebody's love is beginning out here did you hear me now and it said uh it said and it said you uh you're gonna triumph with your uh this solar plexus with your creativeness with your creative ideas and the universe is saying uh this person is feeling a lot of emotional loss at the moment because they haven't got to the rooted issue. Their foundation ain't solid because they've lied and the something is still connected and it's and it's blocked off and they're not telling you. No, I'm not telling you now. The spirit just told on them, and you're very close to achieving this now. This has been a time for healing. It's been a time for healing now. And, and you know this. And, and you know it. And uh, somebody can't stop thinking about you. You got a down ton shit, uh, a bunch of spiritual strength. Look at how big you can just lift a damn whole world up. And you know that your damn commitment was being tested. And you had to rest and rejuvenate and learn patience with the divine. That's what it was. You had to learn it. And, oh gosh, now you're going to be in a new romantic cycle. It's new moon in Libra. It just said new moon, remember? It's new moon. A new start is coming. And, uh, this new moon, Libra, it's going to make you feel balanced. And your love is coming to you, baby. Did that explain to you? Your love's coming to you in this month coming. And because you had faith in spirit's time and God's time, and, and it's coming to you, you stood your ground in this solitude. You've been fighting for this damn new beginning, and everybody around knows it, sees it, and 
and uh, it's coming. And you'll know that it, you're always going to have more. Your your commitment is always going to be tested with spirit or a person. It's always going to be tested. It's always going to be another challenge. You just got to learn how to get through the challenges and not be a damn asshole. That's all it is, you guys. I promise you that's all that you got to do, okay? Don't let it get to use. All right, you guys? All right, well, I hope this helps y'all. I love y'all, and I'm going to... Get off here and pop up pieces, pieces. I hope it's helped somebody. Pieces.